Hello, welcome to another edition of the Evening Political Rumbles here in News Inquest TV. I remain the host anchor, Chigazir Ndibo. Here we bring more informative and analytical and most educative, of course, uh, analysis of the happenings here in Nigeria and South African region. We bring you live and direct on Bayas reportage of the latest happenings within the African continent and most especially here in Nigeria. In today's, of course, uh, issue of discourse, topical issue here before us is the response to by the uh, 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 the Sarikin Hausa in an en 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 state in response to the directive given by the executive governor of Enugu State in the person of Ugwani Ifani that he could no longer guarantee the security and safety of the Fulani headers occupying the rainforest of the eastern region. And he, of course, uh, instructed them in their best interest to vacate the forests of the eastern region to protect and safeguard the life and property and, of course, uh, of their loved ones as well. Yes, in responding to this uh, directive by the governor of en Enugu State, uh, the Sarikin Hausawa residents of the Hausa people within the Enugu uh, state was not uh, comfortable with such development, uh, arguing that, of course, uh, they have been here over 100 years. Their forefathers have settled within this region and calling for them to forget the bushes, the forests of the eastern region, could be considered as unfortunate at this time. And they made their position known that we are not living the forests of the eastern region because we our forefathers has been here for barely hundred years and uh, they could not consider well uh, the safety implication of which inform of course uh, the position of the Enugu governor which is the chief security of the state in the light of this uh, unabating and incessant uh, security, insecurity within this country and uh, in the light of the current happenings that of course uh, the center could no longer hold. The government uh, rather than being elusive and deceptive in his response come out boldly to admit the fact that Nigeria is just a foul state which cannot guarantee the safety of the life and property of the citizen resident within the Nigerian uh, territorial uh, integrity or territorial land space. It's very unfortunate that this is coming from a notable governor of uh, Nigerian state. And uh, could it be that uh, he should be faulted? I may want to see your own response to this um, directive and uh, what you could uh, have suggested or what you think would be the best approach, of course, at this very moment in addressing the mirrors of uh, problem bedeviling us as a people. And unfortunately and unfortunately, the government and the security operatives have shown vividly that they could no longer meet up with the responsibility, statutory responsibility of protecting the supposed life of the citizens are irrespective of wherever you reside. It's very unfortunate and very pathetic. This is a clear indication and uh, without much ambiguity that of course uh, the center could no longer hold. It is very clear and glaring even to the doubting Thomas as we have maintained that Nigeria the best thing that could happen to this country is to split this country and let everybody go in peace rather than being together and end up in pieces. You can imagine uh, the response of the uh, Sarikin Hausawa within the uh, Enugu uh, uh, of course, a state, 
uh, claiming that uh, this statement is untimely and very unfortunate. But uh, it was uh, the instruction was given, I believe, in the interest of peace, in the interest of safety. The governments of Anugo State have their safety at heart. Of course, uh, this could not be far-fetched, seeing that, of course, uh, most miscreants take uh, such opportunity to unleash mayhem to the indigenous uh, settlers of those uh, across the length and breadth of Nigeria. It is no longer, of course, uh, a deniable reality that uh, some uh, Fulani militias under the disguise of uh, moving their cattle or hares to different regions of the country perpetuate the most uh, horrifying and the atrocious uh, uh, crime to humanity, which is, of course, the recent is, of course, the, the massacre at the cathedral. Uh, you know, war in you know, those states. Of course, uh, what could have informed the government to make such decisive uh, utterances at this moment? Could the government be faulted or could you applaud the government for taking such decisive and bold step in the face of the current realities? And uh, I will want to have your response at the comment session. Uh, if you are the this is the first time of watching News Inquest TV. Uh, I may want to say it's a pleasure having you. Please do kindly subscribe. And to my, of course, uh, standby and committed fans, I may want to give you a shout out. It's a pleasure having you once again. I will want to have your response to these uh, topical issues, of course, uh, hitting, of course, uh, our political space here in Nigeria. This is another drama, another dimension of the war, of course, uh, that is silent war going on. We have come to the point in Nigeria where people could no longer feel safe, where people could no longer have the freedom of expression, the freedom of movement. Across the length and breadth of this country, is this very unfortunate, and uh, this could not, of course, be far from the reality that uh, people within the corridor of power, of course, uh, are playing ethnic sentiment to the crisis rocking the nation, destroying the fabric of existence as a people, and of course, uh, uh, leaving uh, people with no option than to doubt uh, the sincerity of this government and commitment to the fight of insecurity, the fight of uh, corruption, and the uh, instability, even financial instability, social instability, even religious, if you can see that uh, it has gained more momentum at this time. What could be your position to this uh, directive by the governor of Enugu State? Well, for me, I think uh, it is a welcome development uh, geared towards, of course, averting the most uh, anticipated uh, or reprisal attack you never can tell. So in order to avoid such happening, they should vacate, of course, uh, the forest. What are they doing at the forest? And the uh, people have taken on due advantage of that opportunity, given to them to reside within the forest under the disguise of rearing their cattle. But unfortunately, most of them have ulterior motive of killing destroying and overrunning the, of course, the host community where they found themselves, who have given them the opportunity to reside uh, in what we call in most uh, serene and the accommodative, uh, uh, of course, uh, hand of fellowship. But that is not the reality at its stance now. I would want to have your response. Then the next one is the uh, lamentation, if I may say, uh, from the Christian Association of Nigeria. Coming now to say Nigeria is lead, heading towards anarchy. Could it be considered as too late uh, to have come from such a uh, body of 
churches within Christianity, within the Christendom, especially here in Nigeria. Why is it that uh, they are just coming too late or speaking out too late? And uh, the young, of course, uh, male rhetorics on my statements, what could have been done by the Christian Association of Nigeria, the PFM, and all the association or umbrella, uh, of course, uh, housing the Christian uh, associations or communities, could that be enough by telling the world that uh, the Nigerian state is heading towards anarchy? That couldn't be, of course, for me, it's not a new news, it's not a news. Of course, uh, we have been commenting and deliberating of these issues. Of course, uh, ever since Nigeria had its independence and was plunged into the most horrifying and uh, genocidal war of which culminated between 1967 to 1970, where over 3.5 million children were massacred, we are starved to death, and uh, several millions were killed. After, of course, the civil war, it appears that Nigeria have not learned lesson and have not decisively, especially those within the corridor of power, to chart a new way forward, uh, to which can lead to reintegration, reconstruction, and rehabilitation of the entire ethnic nationalities in a bid to promote uh, nationality, national interest, and nation building rather than being divided by, of course, uh, across uh, ethnic divides and the uh, religious sentiments. And it's unfortunate that uh, we have come to this lowest ebb. We are, unfortunately, every citizen or resident within Nigerian states could no longer feel safe or secure, could no longer be comfortable residing in any part of the country. This is the latest happenings, and it's very worrisome, and uh, so to say, uh, but we have not seen an end to this. Could you expect another, of course, uh, response uh, from our northern brothers, whom I also give their quick notice, uh, of course, quick notice to the Easterners residing within the northern region, where well, this is not the first time we are expecting such quick notice. It has been issued by the Arewa Consultative Forums in the recent past. Uh, could this be another wake-up call to this effect? Uh, we are yet uh, uh, apprehensive of what uh, might be the next response or reaction from the northern region as well. I think uh, the governor should not be mistaken. Why? Because in the light of this insecurity rocking the entire region, it is better to act uh, proactively to save guide life and property. We are not interested in whatever that can lead to the loss of life and even wanton destruction of property. I think uh, the governor of uh, uh, Enugu State have acted in the interest of humanity for the first, very first time uh, being bold to tell the truth, irrespective of the fact that it might be bitter to some and some might, of course, uh, take it uh, to, of course, uh, to, to gain cheap uh, political propagandas uh, to achieve their interests. But the reality is that uh, the center could no longer hold. And this has fallen apart, and uh, the gods are not to be blamed. Why? Because uh, decades of negligence, decades of deception, decades of cruelty, decades of uh, deception and denial and ethnic uh, sentiment of course, has built up much resentment which have brought us so far where we are. It's very unfortunate. And now for the Khan, Christian Association, to just come up to make a uh, mere assertion without any uh, modalities on how to safeguard the life of the Christians, of the innocent worshippers who troops in their hundreds of thousands, in their millions, or to attend services crusades and conferences, what is the guarantee that these lives could be secured? And uh, what is the steps, practice step taken to ensure that, uh, of course, uh, further occurrence of such a uh, brutal and uh, insensitive uh, and most horrifying massacre 
at the Catrida could not, of course, uh, be experienced any longer. But we are not, of course, uh, seeing that from that response from them. They only come on the pages of media, newspapers, to just make uh, uh, um, an irrelevant uh, statement, if I may say, because it's irrelevant if it is, does not the, um, address, of course, uh, the mirrors of problems bedeviling us, uh, of course, which borders on social, economic, and religious uh, dimension. Where do we go from here? Is it enough to just say that Nigeria is heading to anarchy? What is the Christian Association of Nigeria doing to ensure that the safety of the Christians' worshippers is being protected? And uh, could there be a call for self-defense? Of course, which is not, of course, uh, contradictory, of course, uh, to the position of the United Nations Charter of the Human Fundamental Human Rights, which recognizes self-determination uh, and the self-defense. If, of course, the Christians' uh, communities, of course, uh, are becoming more endangered species, can we fold our hands and watch, of course, uh, loved ones being killed and hacked to death? What is the approach to foster for the attack of over, you can see the recent one, over 40 children were massacred, we are blown up, and uh, over 90 to 100 casualties were recorded, some which sustain several degrees of gun injuries. This could not be seen to be very positive or a workable template on how to address the mirrors of problem. It is now staring at us, and we cannot live anymore in denial of the realities that Nigeria is no longer safe across the length and breadth of the country. The east and north, of course, the south and west, is no longer safe. Where do we go from here? And the government of the day appears to be helpless in the face of all this. Uh, People are apprehensive and uncertain of what becomes. Uh, there is panic in the atmosphere, and the people are now very, 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 very afraid of what, uh, of course, might be the next uh, unfortunate incidents that may hit, of course, the public domain. It's very unfortunate that we found ourselves here. What could be done to arrest these mirrors of problem, which has become a nagging national issue? Uh, could it be said that a, a call for the dissolution of the Nigerian state would be a call in the right direction? Then, if that is the case, of course, uh, it is better we convene a national sovereign conference, of course, uh, allow call for referendum. We are the continuity of, of the continuity of our existence as a people. We we be ironed out and properly addressed, and uh, the template on how this country should be run and is, uh, of course, uh, a common wealth will be equitably shared and distributed. Otherwise, we have not seen an end to this, and you can see the threatening from the uh, Fulani militias, of course, uh, admitting that they have more dastard and destructive agenda for the Nigerian people, calling for the indigenous people of the Nigerian state to flee for safety before it is too late. It's very unfortunate. Can we dismiss that with such level of ignominy? Do we ignore such threats? And uh, in the face of these realities, what do you think could be done? Or do everybody have to vacate the Nigerian state so that the Fulani uh, militias and their uh, counterparts across the North African region to occupy the Nigerian space? What is your take on this? Please, can we know your position at the comment session? Don't forget to share, don't forget to like our videos don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification buttons as we bring you live and undiluted uh, analytical and a more educative uh, 
of course, a discussion in this uh, in the next uh, political rumbles edition. Until we meet some other time, do have a wonderful and fantastic day. Good night.